Hello everybody, it's Remu. Um, so I just got a request asking what kind of mods I use, if there's anything that I can do to show pretty much everything that I use. Um, so I'm just going to make a quick video on this. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, but yeah, so the main, the pretty much the only thing I really use is Aslan's mod pack. Everything that I have that you see on my videos and in stream, it's all going to be on here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the description so you guys can go here as well if you're interested. But um, I've been using these guys for pretty much my whole time playing World of Warships back in 2017. So if you go here, scroll down, you will see this. You click on any direct, um, and this is updated quite frequently. So you gotta give it like a couple hours, maybe two hours when a new patch rolls out. But you know, it is it is quite fast. So when you go here and you do click on the link. Um, it'll come up with this after you install it. Now, click OK. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so make sure when this comes up, you click on the Show Preview window. Basically what this does is when you have the list of choices of what you want to install, it'll show you like a little picture of what you're going to be installing, how it's going to look in game. Click Next, Next, keep going. You can click where you want it, um, where your your world of warships is actually downloaded so for me it's here go next and now this is where everything happens image previews on the right and then you have a lot of things to go through all right it's going to take a little bit but this is basically what i use um first off it's going to be the side panels this shows pretty much the hp bars and you know who's detected what kind of ship they are and all that stuff um on the top the top sides of the screen this is one of the most important things in my opinion. Any type of HP bar that you want to use, any any indicator that you want to use, I go with this one because it looks the best. Um, clan icons is the next one. It's not it's not a big of a, it's not a big deal, but for me, I like to you know just visually just looking at who I'm up against, who's on my team. It's just easy you know if I recognize the icon, I'm just like hey. Um, let's see what next. Uh, the the HP bars now this. You have a lot of choices here. Um, this shows everything on the top. I don't like this. It doesn't look clean, in my opinion. Also, with the side panels, you don't need it. So I just stick with the team HP bars on the very top. It shows you how many, how much HP you have, and how much the enemy HP has. Um, next, you can change crossers if you want. Got a lot of choices there. Now, this is the big one I've been getting a lot. How do you get this crosshair on when you're on your torpedo squadrons? And this right here is pretty much the third tab down the core crosser for squadrons right here torpedo bombers i go with this one it shows a more detailed um not the accurate um where the bombs are going to be going but it just gives it it just pops out more in, in the water um because the default crosshair it looks there are a few maps where it is very difficult to see the actual crosshair itself so this is what i use to help with that um, blur effects remover. I don't like having blur when I'm flying. Uh, what else? Max speed. It shows when you're playing a surface ship, it changes this to at the actual speed of the ship that you're going to um, be going against. This adjusts the color, what you see on the crosshair. Again, for surface ships, I, say, I keep mine to yellow because it pops out the best for me. Next, keep going. And this is going to be for the ribbons. This is, this is the second most thing that I've been getting questions about how do you change your ribbons like this this looks just like i think this is the console version ribbons how this looks i don't know if it was the mobile or the console but this is this looks very simple very very clean um and i do like i do like it visually so i stick with this usually and it's going to be right here it's called it's just called ribbons version 2 um ship the ship names i do adjust it on my minimap so it is easier to read um, bold font, I don't really notice the difference. I just leave it checked. The tech tree, you can see all the all the ships that are available or that are currently in the game files. Um, in terms of availability, some are work in progress ships, so you won't be able to get much detail from that. More visible command the perks. It basically makes a score around it and it makes it a bit more contrast. You can actually take a you know it's, it's much easier to see um, what you're leveling, what you have. Clear vision, when you're looking at a new ship that you haven't researched, instead of keeping it black and white, 
it just gives it the full color so you can actually see what you're looking at in terms of color wise i don't know why it's like this um black and white but this is what i have as well because i do like to take a look at the ships that i haven't researched yet let's see what else is here flags nothing these are all just on-screen battle display i do have something here there we go navigator so what this does it shows when you're playing a surface ship it's this is in my opinion one of the most important things to have in the game if you're not very um if you just want to know how the enemy ship is angling compared to you know against you when you lock on to them you know when, when you're when you press x on the enemy ship and you are locked on your guns are following them it'll show up with this and what this shows is this is the enemy in the red this is your your bow it shows the degree of how what what kind of angle they're taking for me i keep mine in the center so when i'm aiming on them i can just look down it doesn't have to be you know it's not on the not on the side or anything um if you want to like this then that's okay too i don't like it i don't like having to look far from where my my center um cursor is it happens a lot with the mini map this is what throws me off a lot when i'm missing torpedo strikes um when i'm playing carrier i just like to have everything in the center next uh let's see unwanted text from the map view this is just clutter i don't like how this always pops up i just I'd get rid of that the FT assistant. This is the third thing that I want to talk about. A lot of people are asking, what are these things that are showing up on the very, you know, in between the squadron count and the map? What this does is it basically, when you're, let's say you're playing a carrier and it is a make or break situation where you need to pick the correct squadron to deploy fighters on yourself or your ally. Let's say it's a battleship or a destroyer. Last five minutes of the game okay that fighter is going to clutch the game for you guys this is in my opinion one of the most important things in that situation because it lets you know exactly which which squadron has a fighter available or how long your current squadron your current fighters that are already deployed are going to last for um one two three is a squadron number the next number set is going to be talking about how many or it's going to be showing how many fighters you have the third is going to be what is the remaining time of of its duration so you know there's a lot of cases and i'm pretty sure you guys um who play carrier have come across where you're it, it, at a very end of the match if you're you know throughout the game when you're deploying fighters constantly to protect your team to provide spotting the last five minutes of the match you won't remember exactly how many you have left let's say you have one left on your on your dive bombers you have no left at all on your rockets or torpedo squadrons so basically you know you, you you deploy your rocket there's no fighters you're like oh crap so you you bring back your rockets you send out your torpedo bombers no no fighters oh man so that's when your third guess you pick on you pick the bombers and you have one fighter left you're like wow that whole rotation itself takes about like 10 to 15 seconds um and that's a lot of time wasted especially in a make or break situation where you need to get the fighter out there asap this is very important this is the one thing i would highly recommend every carrier player gets um especially in clan battles um and ranked this is very important so i highly recommend this one the next one down score timer this is obvious it shows it basically shows how how long it's going to take for your team to win or for the enemy team to win okay this is very important for competitive very important for ranked getting those clutches in um sometimes when you're about to win but you don't even know it because both teams have very close points but you're ahead in caps it'll let you know how many how long it's going to take for who to win and you just compare it if it takes you six minutes to win like in this picture but there's there's a uh, three minutes left on the timer you're gonna lose so you gotta make you gotta make a decision of what to do in that game at that given moment so this is very helpful as well the shot timer um after you fire it counts down for you how long it's gonna take for you to get undetected or to be for you to get basically you know go dark after you after you fire your guns it takes 20 seconds but um not everyone counts 20 seconds they just say hey it should be going i should be going dark soon but this also helps a lot if you want you can do the radar timer if you want i don't i don't really do this because 
you know, if I'm detected, I'm detected. I'm I, I, I'm already running at that point. If, especially if I'm playing cruiser or or destroyer. If I'm radar or hydroed, I'm gonna I'm gonna book it or hide. I'm not gonna be going out there trying to hope for the best. I don't I don't use this. It's a waste of time. More too much clutter. Uh let's see. Improved chat. There's, you have two uh, two of the best choices here is from the the first one. Um, oh wait, they actually removed the other ones. It was another option. Let's stick with the second one. It looks clean. I like how it's the ship in white with the tier, the icon, and then your your you know what you're trying to say. I don't like this one because it just merges everything together. Excuse me. All right, scrolling down. What else is there? These are all skins. If you want skins, you can use those. Um, minimal waves. I use this on and off depending on how I feel. Um, I've been using it more lately just because of how clean it looks so you know if you want a larger wave you want the old version of waves and hey that's that's your choice i like to use the minimum waves uh, um mod fog remover if you want that i don't really care about that um ah uh, this one allow to hear the sounds when the game is minimized i don't know why this is not a default thing um i don't know why there's not an option like this in game already but when you're playing borderless window or something like that and you just tab out the sound stops. I don't. I don't like that at all. I feel like when it's borderless windowed, it should always be like that. Or when, even when it's full screen, it should always be like this as well. So I have this installed. Region changer. I have two accounts. I have one on NA, one on EU, um, that I play every now and then. It's been a while actually since I played on EU, but on NA, um, I you know I just don't want to be having to switch. I don't know if this is still in the game. It might not be. I think, but I just need this on. It's been on for so long so i just never got rid of it uh fps limiter if you want to uncap it from 75 you can make it 80 85 144 you know your choice i just leave my uncapped because i don't want my my game taking up a lot more resources than it needs to sure it looks smoother especially when you're running a higher res a higher um higher um was it what, what, what was that word uh hertz monitor i have a one, 144 hertz but i like to leave mine at 75 because i'm recording a lot i'm streaming a lot so um more is not really needed these are all just mods um visual packs that you can pick from if you like this kind of stuff i used to use these a lot but not really anymore i kind of don't want to keep everything you know i just like to keep things clean now click next and they always kept keep this one checked it removes all the previous mods from the previous files and all that stuff it does a clean install it's like when you're you're updating your your graphics card you don't want to you know you don't want to do an, an, an update on top of what you currently have you want to do a clean install remove everything next next you install it all again and after that it'll come up with a prompt saying you finish and after that it's all good to go you can launch up your game and it's all finished nice done now keep in mind when you are using mods um especially from here you know aslan's mod or um things like that when the game updates to a new patch um you have to have the updated version or else your game would not load properly um or you know if, if you're not if you're if you're not if you're using another mod from outside of aslan's the game is not gonna oh, it's not gonna load in sometimes it's not gonna be working properly for aslan's if a new patch rolls out for the game you have to update your Aslan's mod pack every single time that happens. Whether, you know, it could be 9, in this case, 9.8. If it goes to 9.8.1, a mini patch, you still have to do it. It's not going to work properly. Um, so just keep that in mind. Next time you, you know, if a patch rolls out, you don't update your Aslan's mod pack, all your mods are gone in that round. You're like, what happened? Well, check with the, check with the mod pack um, website here and see if an update rolled out. It should it just it should tell you but yeah that's pretty much it for that's that, that's all the mods that i basically use on you know that you see on every single one of my videos um you know i hope you liked the, the video uh hope, hopefully it didn't take too long i think it's been 15 minutes or something but hope it helped you guys out i'll leave the link for this in the in, um in, in the info below so hope it um you know hope it actually answers everyone's questions yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one